elf is 17 years old. That, to me, is absolutely insane. I remember going into the cinema to see this, and I instantly fell in love with it. And this is definitely one of my favourite Christmas films. I don't know if I have a favourite Christmas film, but if I have to pick, it would be a toss-up between Elf and the Miracle on 34th Street remake with Mara Wilson and Richard Attenborough. But Elf is one of the most fun, enjoyable, heartfelt, warm, entertaining films that always makes me want to have spaghetti with maple syrup. That scene always makes me want to try it, and I never have, so if you've tried it, let me know what it's like. It sounds it sounds like it would work. So if you haven't seen this film, this was released in 2003, and it's directed by John Favreau and written by David uh, Berenbaum, and stars the fabulous Will Ferrell as Buddy. This may have been my first Will Ferrell experience. I'm not 100% sure of that. And what I love about this is that it's just, it's fun. It's fun and lively and energetic and entertaining. There are a lot of Christmas films, perhaps like 34th Street, where it's fun, but it's actually really quite emotional. But while there is the odd emotional moment in Elf, because of Buddy, Buddy the Elf, it is from start to finish fantastically hilarious and that's why Elf works for me so much because Buddy as a character is likeable, he's lovable, he's fun loving, he's hysterical, he's full of life and enthusiasm, he's willing to learn, he gets a lot of things wrong and his attitude towards Santa is, is brilliant and for me Buddy really carries the film. So the description from IMDb is as follows. After discovering he is a human, a man raised as an elf at the North Pole decides to travel to New York City to locate his real father. First of all, setting a Christmas film in New York City, fantastic. You know, you've got Saks, Bloomingdale's, Fifth Avenue, uh, everything just is magical. It looks incredible. Visually, such a beautiful film. The fact that Buddy finds out that he is an elf, is that he is... Well, he's called Buddy the Elf, but he is a human who has been grown up, who's brought up as an elf. Obviously, he's like five foot, six foot, and he never realised that he wasn't actually an elf. And he goes to find his real human father. So there is quite a, you know, a strong emotional, sentimental story of somebody who doesn't fit in and wants to find out his true identity and who his real family is. And that's very emotional, but it doesn't... It always seems to maintain some level of hilarity. And that is why this is a brilliant Christmas film. Because nobody wants to be too downhearted at Christmas. And I think the progression of that narrative and the journey that Buddy goes on to find his father is great fun. It's really effective. I'm not going to spoil it by telling you what happened or anything. But I think the narrative is very good. The soundtrack's nice. There's a scene, the caroling scene, I particularly enjoyed. I really liked that. But for me, the thing that um, you know, completely sets us apart from everything else is, without a doubt, Buddy. He, he carries the film. And I can't see anybody else playing Buddy. I don't think it would work. I just think Will Ferrell's made for that role. And no matter how many amazing roles Will Ferrell does, to me, he will always be buddy the elf slash human fantastic film thoroughly love it one of my top two christmas films if you haven't seen it please please watch it and i don't i actually don't know anybody's opinion who for whom this isn't a nostalgic film obviously for me this takes me back to my childhood i was 11 when this came out which does seem like a very long time ago now but i don't know anybody who's watched it for the first time recently so if you haven't if you only see it after hearing me waffle on about it please do let me know what you think of it also let me know what you think of maple syrup and spaghetti i really want to try it in the meantime i will just find pleasures in the form of elf